My name is Ben Knowles from East Coast Yacht Sales and this is a continuation of many videos we're doing on getting to know your Axopar 28. This particular video is about the trim tabs on the boat. Uh, so please take a look at this video and if you have any questions for us, feel free to reach out using the information below this video. So before Axopar, I was not familiar with this style of a trim tab, and I actually really like it. Um, when I, but when I first started operating these boats, I felt a little lost because there was no trim tab indicator. Um, but I quickly learned um, uh, learned the boat, and as I learned the boat, I realized I didn't really need a trim tab indicator. Um, but how I think about the trim tabs are first off let's talk about basic operation um, when you want to get the bow down you look at this icon here and you press the trim tabs forward and both will go down if you want the boat to uh, go uh, list more to port let's say you're leaning to starboard you've got a lot of people sitting on the starboard side of the boat for instance so you want to get the boat going flat um, if you go like this, that will make the boat list more to port. Same thing with, with this button. If you wanna list more to starboard, just push it that way. Um, every time I start, uh, when I start my boating day, um, I get into a habit of just making sure my trim tabs are set um, at neutral, so there's zero tab on. And what I do, is I just hold this down for uh, about four or five seconds and then I know my tabs are all the way in the up position. If you were to go from <clears throat> uh, zero tab to full tab down, it's about seven seconds from zero to fully tabbed if you just hold it the whole time. Um, so whenever I'm operating, I think about the trim tabs in terms of seconds. Okay, I'm going to add one more second of, of tab um, and and put that into how I think about these uh, these trim tabs in terms of seconds. So if I want to uh, do a little bit more uh, leaning to port, I'll do is I'll do one second of port trim tab and that will um, just help me think about things. Now, when you're going uh, fast and underway, and if you just have a little, just a little tweaking to do, what, what I always do is just do short bursts because it's amazing how little tab can affect the boat when you're underway um, at you know 30 knots or so. So I'll do a couple quick bursts and then I'll wait for a second because it, it's not instantaneous. There's, there's always a little bit of a lag for the, once the trim tabs do their thing to actually to feel it um, on the boat. So I'll be underway, do a little adjustment, wait for a second or two. Okay, want a little bit more, boom, boom. Happy, keep going. Um, I, I don't find myself futzing with these trim tabs all too much. Um, but you know the first first time you throttle up with depending on how the boat's loaded um, That's usually when I'm doing some little tweaks like that um, Also, <clears throat> I'm pretty much zero tab all the time as a base um, But as I get into a head sea choppier head sea, you know, I'll start to introduce uh, more bow down the more bow down of an attitude that you have the greater the uh, waterline length is on the boat because if you think about it um, as you're uh, as you're putting the trim tabs down the bow is going down which is introducing more bow into the water um, and the way these bows are shaped on the axopars you're introducing like a knife like shape bow forward and it does a, a really nice job just calming uh, calming the boat down um, so the more trim tab you introduced by definition, you know, the, the calmer the boat uh, would get. So you're always, you're always adjusting the tabs based on, um, on comfort level and sea conditions. Um, that also, I think when we're talking about trim on the boat, we should also talk about trim on the engines. 
I am pretty much always having these engines down 100% of the time, all the time. If you're ever like trimming these engines up, um, I really think you're just working against the, f the, the forces of the hull with the engine. Uh, and I find you can actually be a little bit more inefficient when you're trimming these engines up. The only time where that's an exception is if you're going full bore and you want to race a friend, you might be able to eke out another half knot or something if you trim the engines up a little bit. But it's not nothing nearly as dramatic as more of a traditional uh, deep V style boat that um, that I was personally used to before Axopar. Um, and what we will do is I'll go back and we'll take a look at these trim tabs just so you can see what they look like. I'm sure um, if you're watching this, you've, you've probably um, seen a trim tab before, but um, <clears throat> here they are here. Nice and neatly tucked in. Um, I do find that um, this tab is all the way in the up position right now. I do find that it, it takes about a, a one second of pressing the tab down to start to see um, a, any any use and I think that's typically because you know your this this tab is just out of the way of any water flow so it takes about one second of tab to start introducing a change on the boat uh, which is fairly typical for boats in general and just for grins here's the other side you do have a little zinc anode here but these have been really great tabs. I like the uh, user interface with the, with the control. Hopefully you found this video helpful talking about trim tabs on an Axopar 28 cabin. If you have any questions for us, please do feel free to reach out using the information below this video.